Welcome to Sarah's Hanoi Zoo Adventure, vlog number three. I love days like this when things go right. We've just had big vlogs going with the zebra, as well as the smaller ones I've put in earlier this week. Uh, we've had a really good meeting to discuss the children's workshop, which I'm helping out with next week. Uh, no, tomorrow as well, so that's going to be fun and probably quite exhausting. Um, but we've just had a really good day. We've had given furniture going, had lots of positive meetings with keepers. Everything just seems to have gone well today. So let me start with the saga of the logs. Getting log piles into enclosures is a simple and effective way of enriching the lives of Hoostock. After weeks of requests, using examples set before my time here, and pleading for the sake of a zebra with a bad leg, we finally got logs into enclosures. It felt like a massive step forward and the keepers have witnessed the animals using the logs as scratching posts, sniffing them and generally enjoying having something different in their enclosures. As you can see, it was a very happy day for all involved and thankfully the zebra's leg is improving too. Next up came the gibbon furniture. We wanted to introduce something dynamic for the gibbons, so we created some bamboo swings. As a trial we put them inside, but eventually I want to put them in their outside enclosure too. As you can see, it's very important that the keepers test them first. <laughs> you make a great given! <laughs> Brilliant! And finally, we had the children's workshops, teaching the kids about animal welfare and natural behaviour. We had a competition to see who could build the best bird's nest using completely natural materials and we tested later on to see whether those nests could actually hold an egg. As you can see, some of the kids were incredibly excited when their nests succeeded. During the workshop, we also took the kids outside and introduced them to the ostrich. Crazy morning. Uh, Behind me is a massive school group full of kids. They're here on an animal welfare education session, which is awesome, one of four that we're going to do over the course of this month. And today we're focusing on the birds, so we're giving the ostrich some ice cream. At first they really weren't sure, but after a while they got the hang of it and the kids' reaction to that very first peck was phenomenal. <laughs> So it's been a really busy and quite exhausting time here at the zoo, but as always, the animals make it completely worth it. 